Hey everybody, it's Steve Lee, and I am back here again with another quick tip for you. This time it's not CSS related so much as it is uh, web design and being on brand related, but there's definitely some parallels there. Uh, you know, typically when we're dealing with CSS, we're trying to, um, you know, adjust the design of the page to be uh, as on brand as possible and, and, and get it to really flow with the rest of the website. Um, and one of the big hangups that we have with that, um, you know, out of the box with Divi, is the um, is the Google Maps? So the the Divi Map module, um, you know, you can you can use that. You can embed a Google Map, um, you know, with an iframe. We've got a couple different options there, but the the styling of the Google Map is kind of um, I guess the best word is default. And we've definitely got some other options that if you've never seen them and you've never used them on a website, it really helps take things up to the next level. Uh, here's an example here of a website that we recently completed um, that you know has this um, this kind of dusty uh, midnight tone and kind of a powder blue color. And uh, imagine having that that default Google map there, you know, with 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 these colors on it. It kind of just doesn't match, um, and and it stands out, especially when the rest of the website is really on brand, um, you know, with the with the brand color palette. Um, so to achieve this. Um, I use something called Snazzy Maps. If you haven't been there yet, uh, I believe it's yeah, snazzymaps.com. And it's completely free. You can go on and explore different styles. You can um, kind of type in, uh, you know, a, a basic color palette. Say your color palette is, you know, oranges. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to filter out and give you some, some orange tones to work with. Or you can completely, um, you know, do, do a design on your own. And adjust every single little thing from, um, you know, building colors, road colors, highway colors, labels, the the stroke and the fill of of every colors. Uh, I'll show you what that kind of looks like here when you're editing within. I won't take too long. Maybe it can be its own uh, its own course one day, uh, or its own video rather. Uh, but just to give you an idea here, this is uh, kind of what the the final outcome was for that orthodontist office. Um, but you can you can control literally everything. Let's say we want bright red water. The floor is lava. Uh, you can you can do anything. You can adjust anything on this map. Um, it will output a bit of code that you'll have to um, that you'll have to paste into your website. And they have a a plugin. Uh, let's see. It's called Snazzy Maps. And you can see here that. Uh, once you get that plugin installed, you'll have to, um, you know, log in, add your API key. If you don't have one, it, it guides you right on through it, and um, and then you can embed your your custom branded map, which I think is really really cool. Uh, so that's all I have for today, guys. I won't drag this video on longer. If you want to see more, or if you need a step by step walkthrough, um, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But uh, I won't I won't waste any more time if. Uh, uh, any more of your time if I don't have to. So uh, good luck with this. I think that it's an awesome addition to any website, especially if there's a very established brand and color palette. Um, and and this is uh, you know controllable here. It's still a it's still a Google powered map, which I think is really cool. Uh, so that's all, guys. Take care. Have a good one. And uh, leave some comments below if you happen to try this out. I'd love to check out uh, some designs you came up with. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.